Hello and welcome to Bloomon Studio. Our today guest is Pavel Minajik, our uh, CTO. Hi, Pavel. Hi, Arthur. Hi, everybody. Uh, Pavel, I've heard about a localization of Aragui. Is that true? Yeah, that's that's uh, correct. We are working on localizing the product in multiple different languages. And what's the main driver? Why was the decision made to do it now? Um, the main driver was basically customer feedback. We are continuously looking into how we can improve our product, how we can improve customer experience. So we got feedback from some of the regions where our product is being used that uh, users would really appreciate the local environment. So basically localized product. That was the main driver. Mm -hmm. So what languages do we have today? Uh, at the moment, we have uh, English and Czech. Mm -hmm. uh, some part of the product portfolio is localized to Japanese as well. Mm -hmm. And we have decided to add some more languages and extend the, the Japanese localization as well. Mm -hmm. And interesting why Japanese? Because uh, Czech, obviously, we come from Czech Republic. English is a multinational, but why Japanese? Um, maybe you don't know it, but in Japan we have more than 70 customers, which is pretty a lot. So the main driver is, is really the business interest uh, in our product in the uh, Japan market. Mm -hmm. And the new languages will be... The new Apart language is yeah. Because we keep these three, right? And we will add some. Yeah, we will keep these three and we will add another three languages. Um, the decision was uh, pretty simple. We uh, decided to add German localization, French, and Spanish. These three other languages should cover. Uh, most of the world where our product is available and is being used by the customers. Mm -hmm. So that means six languages in total and that's only in GUI but, or will there be more localization or user guide? The project of the localization has actually two phases. Mm -hmm. Phase one is about localizing the GUI itself and uh, second phase is about localizing the user interface as well. Oh, sorry, not user, user interface, guide. a user guide as well. Yeah, and will there be any changes to the user guide? Um, because I've, I've heard something about uh, maybe changing the way we do it and present the data. Yeah, at the moment, the user guide is a PDF document and we are going to change that into modern HTML format so we can basically do uh, sort of uh, links between the user interface and the user guide. So when you need any help, you just click in the user interface and it will guide you to a corresponding section of, of the user guide. So this is how we will, let's say, simplify the way how you can navigate from mm -hmm. the user interface to, to the related user guide part. That's great news, Pavel. And when can we expect these? Uh, we have already localized uh, Flowmon Configuration Center, Flowmon Monitoring Center, the central dashboard. It's not released for the, for the customers yet, but internally we have this localization done. Uh, now ADS is being localized, so I assume that pretty soon, maybe January, February, there will be first release that will include all the languages for these modules that I just named. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be followed by uh, APM, DDoS Defender, you know, all the, all the other Flowmon modules. So I would say that till the mid of next year, till June, July, we should have the whole user interface localized. And then we start to work on the, on the user guide. Wonderful, wonderful power. Um, can I ask you one thing to promise to me? At the beginning of, of the next year, that means, that means 2018, we'll meet again for another episode of Flowmon Studio and we'll do some roadmap, maybe news and, and some update for our customers about the Sure, project. sure. Great. Well, looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Pavel. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks.